Hey y'all, it's Bo Brotherton with Better Together Life. We are a suburban family that found a way to quit the rat race and return to the land. And I think that there's a lot of you guys out there that are wanting to do the same thing that Kelly and I did, of be that suburban family, find some way to be able to get out of your nine to five, get out of the commute, then have some sort of simple life, simpler life, or maybe you just want to homeschool or something like that. You want to be able to return to the land. Some of our grandparents, but a lot of our great grandparents did this same thing. And I think that it is more important now. And there's so many people already doing that. So I'm really speaking to, to you, the people that want to do this, but you don't know how to start. And we're not gonna be able to go through all of the details of this in this video, but we can go over some of the broad basics. And if you like this video, I can dive down deep into the details in future videos. So let me know down below if that's something that you wanna do. So more people today are returning to the land. Because of 2020 and 2021, a lot of our freedoms are being removed. They're being taken away. And there's a lot of people that want more freedom and they wanna be able to buy land and grow their own food, have more control over their life. And because of all of that, land prices are only getting more and more expensive. I was actually talking to Ben Holler over at the Holler Homestead, and I was asking him land prices out in North Carolina because land prices here in Texas are getting crazy expensive. And he was saying that, that yeah, it's it's anywhere between 10 to 20,000 per acre. Um, For us in Texas, in our area, is currently averaging around like 16 to 18,000 per acre, which is just crazy. This video is for you, the people that want to do this, but you don't have any money right now. So we're gonna go over just a full on like workbook of life assessment in this video. So it might be a little bit longer. I wanna be able to give a full broad sense of if you wanna do this, it's never been more important to do it now. You need to start taking action now and start planning for this right now. So let's jump into it. Here are six steps on how to leave suburbia, return to the land, homestead, and to do it without any money if you don't have any money right now. Okay, number one, I'm sorry, It's if you don't have any money, then you're gonna need to learn how to make money. That's it. It's it's, it's something that it's, it's not gonna be easy to hear, but you need to figure out how to make money now if you've never made money before. So for some of y'all, you might just say like, I have no money. Well, I don't have a job. Well, you're gonna have to figure out how to make money. You're gonna have to figure out how to earn something. And first thing you're gonna need to learn is like make $20,000. I know that some of y'all might, Think that that's a lot of money some of you might think that that is no money that's really poverty right there but you have to figure out how to earn twenty thousand dollars a year just start off with something like that i remember whenever kelly and i were first married that i had to figure out how to make twenty thousand dollars in my video production business because i wasn't making any money and i needed to first make that big step once you learn how to make $20,000, you can turn that into $40,000 and then double it again. I'm gonna suggest a video that I'll put it right up here. Uh, it's from the Graham Stefan YouTube channel. He is all, he's a big old channel and he's awesome. He actually just made a video about this subject of how to start with no money at all. He did a really good job and I would just suggest you stop this video. If that's where you are and you have no money at all, go watch his video, it'll help you. Another idea would I would say is to go download down below uh, or up here, you can download uh, our free ebook, 50 Homestead Money Makers. It just gives you 50 ideas of how to make some extra cash. It's free, just go download it. That will give you a little bit of a boost, some ideas to get those ideas churning up in your head on how to make some extra money. Number two is learn how to save money. Uh, a lot of people will say that it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep so he says you got a hundred dollars you save that that's 50. Mm -hmm. he said rich people i say okay i'm saving 50 and i'm but he said the wealthy does this you save that this ball out house chain car whatever you want but 75 save it yeah you need to learn how to live off of less than you make you need to learn how to set a budget and to stick to it. 
Dave Ramsey talks about this. There's nobody better on how to really, this, the basics of money, how to get out of debt, all of that. Dave Ramsey is the best there. We're talking about very basic life skills of how to make money. If you're a young kid, if you're a single mom and something happened, you have to start off from scratch. You need to learn how to make money. You need to learn how to save money. Okay, number three. Guys, I, I, I hate that I'm putting this because it feels like you're definitely gonna be kicking the horse when it's down. It feels like it's redundant. It feels like you're gonna hear this bashing across your head all over, all the time, but you have to eliminate debt. Number three is get out of debt. I actually tried to write this without putting this in there and then it, I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. It is the most important thing is to get out of debt because debt will kill your dream of homesteading. You just can't do it with debt. Again, Dave Ramsey, if that's the step that you're on, he has his baby steps, you gotta do that, get out of debt. All right, number four, now we're getting into some details in this. You wanna assess, you wanna plan, and then execute. This is not a pitch for me to make money. I, it's, it's, it's just, I already wrote all this down in our book, Get Off Your Tail and Homestead. It's a, a full chapter on this, so we can't go into the details, but I can give you an overview. You first need to assess where you are. Assessing is really about getting directions. So it's the same thing about if I were to call you up on the phone, you have no idea where I am, and I said, hey, I need to get to Wyoming. Well, the first thing that you're gonna ask me is, okay, well, where are you now? So you have to assess where you are now. If dreaming, you're watching this video, most likely getting on land and homesteading is a dream that you have. So that's where, that's the end in mind. That's the end goal. But where are you now? So you need to assess your life. You need to assess how much you're making. You need to assess it if you're in debt. You need to assess your current skills. You need to assess how many assets you have. All of these things you need to assess your life and what you have going right now. Then you need to make a plan. You need to strategize your plan on how to go from where you are now to the end, your dream, homesteading, buying land, having that freedom. You need to come up with a plan. You'll hear it all the time that those who fail to plan are planning to fail. So you have to set the plan and then you have to execute. You have to get it done. Ideas are a dime a dozen. You see that, like everybody now wants to get out of suburbia. They wanna get out of the city and they wanna homestead. That's an idea, but very few are doing it. The people that are doing it are executing. They are taking the risk. They are making the leap of faith and they are doing it. They are getting it done. They're getting off their tail and going to do it to chase that dream. They're executing. You have to execute. Okay, part of the planning stage is going to be you need to take this pie in the sky dream. A lot of this, I mean, a lot of us stay up in this big dream state. We were just watching Roots and Refuge new show on Abundance Plus, Wilder Still, and she's very she's talking about this dream. She's very romantic, it's very like awesome to hear all of this cool things about this dream, but that's where everybody stays. They stay in the dream state and they, they don't break the dream down into things that you can actually take control of and execute. So you have to learn how to take your dream and break your dream down into a vision, something that you can taste, you can touch, you can hold, you can see a vision. Dream is always fuzzy. It's like cloudy up in the sky. That's what dreams are. You need a vision. One way to do that is a vision board. It's to where you can see exactly what you want and then you can attack it. Then once you have your vision, you break the vision down into goals and very, very uh, certain kind of goals. They're called SMART goals. SMART goals is an acronym, S-M-A-R-T. It is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. Those things, S-M-A-R-T. Just Google SMART goals and you'll be able to go down the rabbit hole on everything like that. Then once you have uh, that goal from your vision, so you break it down from the dream to the vision then to goal or goals, sometimes your vision is gonna have several different goals along the way because you have 90 day goals, you have two year goals, you have a decade long goals, and then you break that one goal down into daily action steps that you can achieve. 
Another thing you need to do is you need to tell as many people as you know, I'm going to homestead. I'm going to buy land and I'm going to grow food. I'm going to have freedom in my life. You have to tell people. You have to take the goal. You have to write it down. And then you have to tell as many people that you can to make it attainable. This is what one thing that Kelly and I did when we started our YouTube channel. We had already bought our land. But what we did was we put it out on the internet. We were someday going to sell our suburban home and then move on to our property. And and y'all, whenever we did it, whenever we were struggling, we wanted to quit. But there are so many of you on YouTube commenting saying, hey, when are you going to move on to your property? When are you going to actually start this homesteading thing and get out of suburbia? That lit a fire on, under us every time we read one of those comments. And if you tell people, you don't have to do it on YouTube, but if you tell people all that out at your church, uh, your family members, they're going to hold you accountable be like, hey, what happened to that thing? And then you don't want to feel like a loser and just quit. So it lights that fire. Tell as many people as you can. Again, I don't want to pitch the book. It's Get Off Your Tail in the Homestead. Links are down below. You can also go to getoffyourtail.com. It, it has a, a full-on workbook to where you get all of this and it holds you account. Like It is a full-on system. Go to getoffyourtail.com just to even check it out. And if it is something that you want, consider we're actually giving it away for free if you end up signing up for Abundance Plus by the end of September to where you get... Uh, you can have a, you can pay for one month of Abundance Plus, get all the resources there, which is amazing. Get the book for free. It's actually cheaper than the book is selling right now. We give you that book if you sign up by the end of September, and then you can cancel Abundance Plus right after if you want to. So it's like five ninety nine versus the book currently is eight ninety nine. So it's it's a no brainer to do that. That's how we're doing it right now. Uh, I'm not. This is not a pitch. I'm just trying to help in terms of getting you the information. And the book has so much more information there. All right. Number five is learn how to homestead where you are now. This is what Kelly and I. We wish that we had this. We wish that we had the resources that you have right now in terms of uh, Abundance Plus, in terms of our book. Like there's so many more books to be able to do this. We wish that we had this knowledge back in 2013 whenever we first read that, that Mother Earth News article that I talked about in our last video. So you need to start learning skills and getting resources and educating yourself now. Starting to make some money, you're starting to save money, you're getting out of debt, and you're planning, you're assessing where you are, you're planning, you're executing, and now you start learning on these hard skills now. The top one that comes into my mind is learning how to bake sourdough bread. Like there's really not a lot of better, easier homesteading skills of learning how to bake bread. We got a double yoker. We got a double yogurt. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's so good. And the, the bread is good for you. It ferments. Another skill that you definitely would need to learn how to do is gardening. That's very important, of course. Even if it's just if you're in an apartment and you start having some containers, like some, some cucumbers or tomatoes. Maybe learn how to grow sprouts in a sunny window seals. Anything to be able to grow some food that would be a hard skill to learn now. Prepping, preparedness, that is a big thing to learn how to do to be able to store up food. We had so many shortages last year and who knows if it's gonna happen again, but that is something, I don't wanna be scary, but to know that if, that, if it happened once, it might happen again. And so it is good to have stored food no matter what. It is just a smart thing. It is a good investment because you can always eat that investment. Another thing that I like to tell people is learn how to cook different kinds of food. So buy some different cuts of meat or maybe some uh, different vegetables that you've never tried before and you've never cooked before. We did this back in the beginning. We had a CSA to where they would just give us all this random kind of fruit and they would even give us a sheet of how to cook it. And so that let us learn our new skills of cooking. That was very beneficial because whenever you're homesteading, you don't want to let food go bad. If you're gonna grow something, you just because it's pretty in the garden, 
you need to learn how to actually cook it. Uh, we also love Butcher Box for this because you can get some really good different cuts of meat and it's a subscription model. So you can get all these different kinds of meat, save money. That's why we like that too. Uh, of course, we believe in growing your own vegetables. We believe in raising your own protein. It'll be far beyond organic than you could ever get. But if you're not able to do that, then these are good options for you to be able to go to as well. Start a side hustle. That's a good skill to learn when you're in suburbia, when you're in the city. Learn how to be able to barter. And also, if you can make money from your homestead, then you don't you don't have to leave. Uh, Justin Rhodes and Joel Salatin talk about this a lot. If whenever you're a successful farmer, homesteader, you want to stay on your property. Window shop for land. Kelly and I did this a lot in the beginning is we would, if we needed to drive somewhere for vacation, we would always take the scenic route. We would never drive down the normal highway, freeway. We would go the back roads, all the county roads. We would go the long way and we would be able to look at land that we thought was pretty and that we thought would help us dream. And then we would find it, look it up on Zillow, and we would see the price of that land. That helped us know the cost of the market, what things are going for, and it helped that vision. It helped that vision of assess, plan, and execute. It helped that vision that we had for being able to see what this is, to be able to drive us so that we were motivated for it. It helped us in our prayer time to be able to ask God, God, please let's, let this happen. That is what is a really good idea, is to go window shopping, for land. It doesn't cost you anything except some gas. Um, and it's very important. All right. Number six, once you have learned how to make some money, once you have learned how to save some money, then you've gotten out of debt. You have started coming up with your plan for how to do this. You're learning some hard skills of home setting right now. Eventually you're going to get to a time where you're going to have to take the leap. That's it. You're going to get to a time that you have to take a leap of faith and you got to go for it. You have to take a risk. I do believe that buying land and moving on to land, and I'm talking about like, you know, three, five, I don't know, 10 acres, like somewhere that's not too big, not too small. That has one of the highest ROIs that you can possibly make. ROI stands for return on investment and by you having land, you really can do so many things. The book goes over it, 50 Homestead Moneymakers goes over it, but like just throwing stuff out there, I, I don't even have it with me. But like if you have land, if I have seven acres right now, I could end up starting my own like U-Haul business there to where I have some, some trucks and some trailers parked on my property because I have more real estate now. That if I wanted to do that, I don't want to do that. But if you're needing money and you have the land, you could possibly do that. As long as you buy land properly without any zoning or anything like that, you could end up having an Airbnb. You could buy a, a cheap couple of thousand dollar uh, camper. You renovate it, maybe an Airstream or like a shed. Uh, you could convert a shed into a house like we've done twice. And you can rent that out as an Airbnb to be able to add multiple streams of income where if you didn't take that leap of faith, then this is income that you couldn't be able to take advantage of. You can grow food. You can farm uh, commercially. You can have a CSA uh, for gardens. You can go to a farmer's market. You can sell pastured meat. All of these things that you can do. So we're talking about if you have land, you can function stack it. I love buying things like Bitcoin and, and, and buying uh, stocks now, but it is something that we can do so much more now with our property. Like now the fact that we have our property, I'm able to make money off of making videos of buying a tractor. There's just so many ways that we can function stack now because we have our property. That's the key. So eventually you have to take that leap of faith. Okay, I'm gonna put a video up here as well as our playlist to watch from the beginning all the way until now. That is really gonna help prove to you that we had zero skills and we had very little money in the beginning, but if we can do it, you can do it too.